If you've ever had problems remembering someone's name, spare a thought for Trina Henari. She's the coach of Northern Wairua that has four sets of sisters. Hi, we're the O'Sullivan sisters. Hey, hey we're the Nesbitt twins. twins. Hi, we're the Langdon sisters. Hi, we're the Kirby sisters. Hi, I'm the coach that has to keep track of all the sisters. <laughs> so while some teams are obviously striving to win the under-19 title, for teams like Northern Wairua, half of the achievement is just being there. It's certainly a community and a family team. How do you keep up with them all? <laughs> well, it's really, really hard, because um, they all look the same as well, um, and they all come from the same area. But you soon figure out who's who, and if you call someone's name, they just say that's their name anyway. So if I say Holly and Tiana, Tiana puts her hand up anyway, so we keep a track of them that way. Does it make for a really cool dynamic in the team, though? It does, especially when we came to tournament and we were sorting out the rooms, you know, and who was sleeping with who and, and which rooms. Um, so the sisters decided to say together, um, and that was really cool, but they look after each other, and I think that's a big thing for us, is, yeah, just that sisterly love. Well, you, you come from a small area too, so I guess it brings a lot of great family support as well for the team. Yeah, massive, massive support from home, um, and with the girls and their wider community, they just got behind them. Um, we've got sisters that work for the, kum the kumara company, um, and so that helped us, and they, they pitched in. We had family sell kumaras <laughs> on the side of the road to help us get here. Um, so they're pretty proud of the girls, and so am I, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the netball in the region and in your catchment area. So we're pretty small. Um, we're probably the smallest centre here at Nationals. Um, we capture from the Ruawai area across the Dugville, um and everybody in between. So it's pretty cool, um, pretty small, but we make do with what we've got. Yeah, there's about 300 members um, and we've got a fantastic committee that just supported the girls all the way. So how significant is it for the girls to be here then and to be challenging themselves against these big centres? It's massive. Um, Monday we played Canterbury in Dunedin. Um, and the girls were just inspired because they'd seen the Beko League and so they got to play against these girls, which would never ever happen any other time. Um, so they weren't overawed, um, but they just took it all on board, yeah. It was really cool. Well, isn't that what sport is all about? What a wicked achievement for Northern Wairua to be in Nelson for this tournament and what talent there must be in some of these smaller areas. So the chance for them to get in front of the national selectors, the age group selectors, and really put their best foot forward. Been a tough week for Northern Wairua, but huge lessons you'd have to think for some of these players battling it out here against Pukekohe in their final match of the tournament. This would be one that would go right down to the wire as well few turnovers late in the game. It was very, very tense and tight. It's Northern Wider with the red bibs on because the uniform clash and another good ball. There's some good stuff into there. Just not able to finish at times. And Pukakoi also battling for a good finish in this tournament. Working their way through court. Defensive pressure right from the end, which is great to see because remember these players have had a number of games throughout the week and this being the last one, pretty tiresome and what a way to finish 31 all.